Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Analogy Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all the top two stocks that all of you should be keeping in your watches for tomorrow. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of Monday night's video, right after the intro. All right, y'all, again, before we begin, do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in, all right? So let's get started um, right off the bat. Um, the market right now is it's looking like it wants to pull off a dead cat bounce, and I'm not a fan of it. Um, in, in Monday's video, I told y'all that we could get a little choppy, and it was looking pretty good until like today. It was looking very, very good. I told you that we could see this, followed by this, followed by that, and then followed by another run right here. All right. So it was behaving quite well until we had this sell off midday. Um, could this thing continue? It definitely can. It definitely can. So just be careful, manage your risk as well. Um, if you're trading any stocks that are following the spy, such as like your tech stock, for example, um, again, be very, very careful because if we do not get a green day tomorrow, if we don't get some type of momentum pushing all the way up here within the next like 24 to 48 hours, we could go all the way down to 4,000 and maybe consolidate there for a while. And if that happens, then a lot of your large cap stocks such as Amazon, such as Netflix could also crumble as well. So just keep that in mind. All right. Now, the top two stocks that y'all should be keeping in your watch list. The very first one that we're going to talk about is PLTR. No, I got to type that one more time. PLTR. Yeah. And the reason why I want to talk about this one again, I've mentioned this one before on the, I think it was the day of or the day after earnings that I really, really like this bullish and golf candle and that we were either going to take option number one or option number two, which is right here. And so far, it's doing just that, all right? Um, we've been in, again, for everybody who is in the private Discord, we've been taking trades on this one. Um, I still have some calls on this thing. I took some profits off like earlier today and I did alert everybody in the Discord to take some money off as well. But as of right now, it's doing quite well and it's moving in all direction. I'm not bearish on this one. Um, even though the market may be a little bit, um, it may be experiencing some turbulence, I still think that we can consolidate a little bit and then proceed higher, all right? I don't think we're gonna collapse all the way back down to like 17 again. I just think that we're gonna hover in these areas before moving back up again, all right? So definitely keep this one on your watch list for the next few days. I'm not bearish on Palantir with the way it's looking right now. I like the way it's looking. And the second stock that all of you should be keeping in your watch list for tomorrow, that stock is GME. All right. And GME, this one right here, the structure looks good. The structure is very, very bullish. I shared this one in the Discord on that day on the 17th as soon as it broke out of there along with AMC. So congratulations to anybody who were able to take a trade on that and make some money on it. Um, the price target that I had for this one is around like 220, maybe 217 within the next few days. Um, today, today is a little, today is a little iffy. Like we will see exactly how it opened up tomorrow. Could this momentum continue? I definitely think it can, but but I am I, I am a bit hesitant on this one too. So be very, very careful because this thing could actually drag down here and then waste your time and not move up until like later on. Like it can do that. That's something to also consider as you're trading this. Again, if you're trading options, this right here will waste your time. This is an option killer. All of the delta and the, especially the theta. Like the theta will just drain the value of those contracts if it doesn't fly and if it doesn't open up at like 184. So just be mindful and be cognizant of that because again, manage your risk. These are contracts that we're talking about, all right? 
so manage your risk on this one so keep this one on your watches again um the same thing applies with amc it had a bullish pre-market slash post-market session and then it immediately gave out which is super disappointing like traders are super happy here yeah it's gonna go to the moon and then immediately like it just it just collapsed and doesn't go anywhere and gets right back down to where it originally was and now we wait some more right and also there is a reverse head and shoulders on here like it's pretty obvious there's one right here head left shoulder head and right shoulder price target is usually like right here usually like um like nine times out of ten it's usually right there so don't be surprised if this thing like falls again and tries to retest that neckline at twelve dollars just don't don't be surprised if we drop to 1250 ish and then we consolidate and then eventually we make a move higher again as i've mentioned with gme it could waste your time so just keep that in mind all right just just keep that in mind so that's that's my thoughts on these these two stocks now let's talk about you guys stocks of interest the very first one that we're going to be covering that stock is walmart all right and that stock again was that was the stock for um for monday i told y'all that this stock will explode and it did explode all right we've been in here at 138 where is it gonna go next um honestly i don't know i think it's gonna stay in here for a while again if the market doesn't go anywhere it could waste everybody's time so me knowing that what i did was i immediately took my money off of here if you go onto the robin hood Again, this is the Walmart history. I only had two contracts that I was holding through earnings because again, as I tell y'all constantly, holding through earnings is 150% gambling. But I did give y'all rationale on why I was doing it and why I was anticipating this move and why, and be, obviously it's Walmart, it's a reputable company. So these two contracts right here, I bought them for 256 and for 271. And I sold them for 390 and for 410. And as soon as I sold them, again, every time I sell, I let everybody know in a Discord that, hey, I got rid of it and you should too. Because this fade right here looked inevitable. And it did fall. And honestly, I think it could fall some more. Um, I do keep it on my watches because, again, it has some room to the upside. But it might waste everybody's time. So that's my very honest opinion on that one. Um, again, if you're interested in getting into the Discord and getting the details of my entries and my exits and the, like which contracts and all that, definitely check the very first link in the description of the video below. Um, somebody asked about IQ. We got to talk about IQ. IQ had earnings. It opened up quite well and immediately pushed out the gates. Could this thing go higher? Um, it has a lot of room. Like it's currently at this previous, it's below a previous level of support actually. It cracked that support like two weeks ago and now it's trying to recover again. Um, so far, so good. So far, I'm not bearish on it, especially after that reaction um, through earnings. It has a lot of room. I think it can get all the way up to $16 within like two weeks. So um, to, the, to the person who asked about this, this one is either a hold or a long. I think it's definitely going to go higher. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's my very honest opinion on that one. The next one that we're going to be covering, that one is Netflix. And Netflix right now, let's see here. There's this one level right here that all of you should keep in mind. Like this, this line right here. If the market doesn't pull through, <laughs> if the market, if the market does not pull through, Netflix and almost all of tech would actually crumble back down here to 460. This, this is a struggle. This is the, this right here, this space is the opposite of a runaway gap where the stock gaps up and just keeps going higher and higher and higher, right? And this one gapped down and this trending lower and lower and lower and lower and it looks like it looks like it's about to fall off a cliff and i wouldn't be surprised if it did so like tomorrow i really really wouldn't um so keep that one on your watches for a potential continuation to the downside to at least support i want to see it over here that way will make it more attractive for like long-term investors to take to try to go in and be the support right cash that falling knife at 460 
And then if that fails, and let's say the market wants to tank some more, then we can really, really, really head lower. Um, let's check out the monthly. Here's why I say that. Let's check out this right here. This is not, this is something that you should be keeping in mind. You see how weak that is? You see how it's like tumbling over month after month? What would, just, just think about it. What would the next month look like or could look like? Will we see a giant red candle right here, right? Followed by a little bounce, like a wake right to support right here before we bounce. Could we see that? Again, that's just my imagination going. I think we could see it. I think we could. And I'm obviously like almost, I'm always ready for things like that. If it is to happen, we shall short. If it doesn't happen and it just keeps like going sideways over here, we'll just patiently watch and trade the opportunities that happen um, within the days and just the opportunity that will happen like throughout a few weeks, whether to the long side or to the short side, short term or long term all right and by long term i mean like one or two weeks again we're traders not not long-term investors so yeah that's my very honest opinion on netflix and that is the end of the video again do not forget to annihilate and destroy the like button for the youtube algorithm as always it helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well also if you are new to the channel definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on uploads or new uploads coming up in the future um if you're not following us on social media you can find me at paul and Buma and i've had analogy lab on instagram and on twitter also if you're interested in getting into our private discord you can find the very first link in the description below to that and if you are new to trading if you're new to all of this and you would like to get started I left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 right after you sign up with Weibo using my very first link in the description below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Pedanology Lab where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, right? Be very, very careful out there. The market is just, it's just a bit iffy. So manage your risk accordingly. Enjoy the outro.